All right, Coach, congratulations on the win tonight. Um, what are some thoughts um, after today? Um, well, happy to be back coaching. Um, uh, first of all, uh, missed my team thought that we, uh, came out and kind of got off to a slow start. Um, but once we kind of got out of that first quarter, I thought we had a really nice second and third quarter. Our defensive effort was much better. I thought we did a, a really good job sticking to our, our scout, putting a little bit of ball pressure on them. And then, um, uh, because of our defense, we were able to create a little bit of offense, get some, some scoring in transition. I think we had, uh, you know, 29 points in that second quarter. So um, that kind of gave us a, a little bit of momentum um, and carried us into the, the second half. And then, you know, we've got to do a better job of closing out games. We had a, a lot of mistakes, um, physical and mental mistakes, kind of in the last three, four minutes of the game that we've got to, to be better at. You mentioned that first quarter falling behind um, after the first 10 minutes. Uh, what was said in the huddle uh, heading to the second quarter to turn things around? <laughs> uh, some uh, pointed encouragement, I, I would call it. Just uh, try to, you know, you know, we weren't playing the way we we're capable of playing. We needed to be more engaged, um, you know, just mentally and more focused on what we were doing. We needed to play with a higher level of intensity. Um, so, you know, just some things to kind of goad them in that direction. And, you know, they received that message really well. And, and I thought they came out and, and played, like I said, a great second quarter. Yeah, in that second quarter, a 23-0 and run, um, you know, throughout essentially the quarter. Um, what can you say about the team's offensive performance, in the, especially in the second and the third quarters there? Yeah, I mean, I think, again, our, our offense is um, – is better when our defense is good and engaged. So I thought we, we had some really nice defensive possessions and then we were able to put together, you know, back to back or back to back to back, you know, good possessions on each end of the court. I thought, um, you know, Freya uh, did a great job of, of hitting threes. I thought Aya came in, hit some threes. That, that opens up the middle for Deb to be able to get some touches. Um, I thought we attacked the basket, got to the free throw line really well. I thought we, you know, we did just a lot of really um, – you know, things that led to, um, you know, baskets that we're capable of making, you know, sharing the ball, moving the ball around. You mentioned Aya, uh, career high 14 tonight. She was very much hot in the second quarter there, didn't miss a shot, didn't miss a free throw. Uh, what can you say about her performance and how she's developed throughout the years? Yeah, I think, you know, Aya, the first two years uh, struggled to get minutes. Um, she was a, a role player at best, and I think this year she's um, – you know, come in and uh, those those two years of having to work really hard in practice and not necessarily being rewarded with time on the court during games have, um, you know, motivated her. I think they've also just allowed her a chance to develop. You know, I have I have um, uh, a lot of confidence in what she does out on the court. She's got a really nice pull up jump shot. She's got a very nice three pointer when her feet are set. She's a good defender. She's gotten tougher over these last two years in terms of. Um, her physicality. I think she had to guard a post player today and, and did a nice job of that. So, you know, through the years and, and especially this season with, you know, having a, more of an opportunity to play, I've been able to gain more confidence in what she can do out on the floor well to help us. Deb it continues to do Deb things, another double-double, her 10th of the season. Um, she continues, uh, continuously rises the ranks nationally in defensive, you know, r offensive rebounding. Um, you know, and she, even even if she started out slow today, um, what can you say about what she has done, you know, this season into conference play, and how she really helps the team uh, get these victories? Yeah. I mean, from the the day she stepped on campus two three years ago, we were, you know we had really high expectations of her. We thought she could be a very good player. We thought she could be the kind of kid that gets a double double. She just you know battled through injuries the first two seasons, and now. Um, you know, this is really the first season she's been healthy uh, for a whole year. And, you know, it's she's such, you know, the best part about Deb isn't her basketball. It's just a, it's who she is. You know, she's just a great person. She's got a great personality. She's always got a smile and, you know, a fantastic teammate. So, you know, especially with players like that, people like that, you want to see them be successful. And, you know, I, I know her player, her teammates are all excited for her when she does something good on the court and so I think we're all really happy that Deb's playing very well and we all know how valuable she is to our team and um, you know I think we still need to find ways to get her more touches I think you know as efficient as she is when she does get the ball we need to to be able to get the ball in our hands a little bit more. Um, head, uh, team heads to Pacific on Saturday um, a tough Pacific team uh, what are some things that the team can take from today um, heading into a 
maybe a tougher game on Saturday. Yeah, well, I definitely we can't get off to the same kind of start. Um, you know, if we dig a hole at Pacific, that's going to be real tough to get out of. Um, you know, they've got they've got three three very good, experienced players and and some really good uh, other players that have been. They just have a lot of experience. Um, and you know, Stockton is a tough place to play. They have some matchups that will be difficult for us. But you know, I've, I've we've talked. Um, you know, all year, really, since kind of November, um, about the team that we want to be and the team that we are, and we need to embrace kind of who we are. Our identity, our identity is uh, about our toughness. You know, our mental, physical toughness. We need to be the most competitive team on the floor every game. We need to come and be the most engaged team on the floor in terms of executing a scouting report. Um, we need to be. Um, you know, defensively, the team that gets to loose balls, the team that gets offensive rebounds, gets the defensive rebounds. We need to do some of the dirty things. And I think, you know, I think our players are really embracing that role. And, um, you know, we need to be to be resilient. And I think if we do those things, I think we give ourselves a chance in every game we, we have coming up.